hi and welcome previously we have seen how class validator and transformer work in this case now open buzzer api then src folder users and entities user entity what we do now improve our entity field entity table or entity user entity that is email email should be unique so you can set it unique true unique true and what we can do is password password default should not be selected so select false okay now we can use create data column right create data column this come from type rm and what it will do is every time creating a user and user it will insert a default date value for this time so created at and it will be a timestamp and it also comes from type rm another one is updated update date column it also comes from type rm time step okay but it will not affect if we don't create our migration so open terminal if your app running then stop it now i am going to create a migration like before and before its our migration name was initial now i am name it update tv tbl means tv table user okay and press enter okay migration has been generated successfully now we have to run this migration npm run migration run okay here is a problem i have inserted so many unique not unique email in our table that's why it cannot make email field unique so i'm going to drop this table manually and migration file will also deleted from there delete will delete from there like db then migration okay now i am going to delete manually the table and again run this migration here is pg admin and i have deleted users table now open terminal and create another migration the migration file generated here is our migration file now we have to run this migration file okay migration has been successfully run if we open our pg admin and refresh this it will show migration table and user tables and columns created at and updated at with email that's it okay now close this user entity file and for password hashing 
I want to import ins install npm I JSON web token. And there is a JSON web token for type TypeScript that is at types then slash JSON web token. Press enter. The two packages installed now. Open use SRC users then DTO. User sign up DTO before going any further. I want to may rename this because it's a convention that DTO should have a DTO. This I am adding this DTO with user sign up class. Now save it and we have to modify our user controller and user service. So here user controller. user sign up dto and here is user sign up dto it's also dto okay save it close files now open user service and here is our same problem we have to rename it dto 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 and here is also DTO. Next, before sign up, we have to find or we have to check our email that if it exists, we will send user a error message that is not available. Okay, for this const user exists equal to let's create a function. Async find find user by email and it will receive and receive a email that is string type and return await these dot user repository dot find find one by email email or you can send we can simply make it just email okay it will be a promise of string Let's skip this for now. Save it and here yeah, user exist these dot find one by user find user by email. Then we have to send user sign up DTO dot email. Okay. And it will be a promise. If user exists, then we will throw new bad request exception. Let's import it. It is coming from NestJS common. And we can send a message also. Email is not available. Okay. Now we have to hash our password. So, create user 
sign up with your dot password equal to sorry i have installed wrong package for hashing password it's not should be json web token it should be decrypt sorry about that please install this package npm d it okay i installed it now there is import import hash from decrypt now hash user sign up dto dot password and is 10 and i think it should be await okay save this now open your terminal and run this server no error found open postman here i'm going to create a new create a, create a new user okay we have found some user information like password id email name okay but here is password i want to delete this password but how here we can modify this make it let user then user equal to okay and user dot delete sorry delete user dot password now return user now save this no problem found let's open postman and create a new one so test test 2 there is test 2 and send now it takes no password is sending to user okay that's it next we will work on sign in method till then bye